Okay, so here we are. Welcome back to the Masai Maru, or should I say Karibu Sana, uh, which is a very big welcome to everyone. And uh, we're just having a little bumble now. We've left the lions. Uh, they, they seem to be very, very flat. So we're heading down towards a big swamp uh, that is called Samaki, which basically means fish in Swahili. And uh, I think it's a bit early for the elephants, but maybe a little bit later when we go there. I think there must have been a good hundred or so elephants spread out through that swamp. Uh, uh, in, as it gets a bit warmer during the day. So we're going to do a little oh, drive down past Samaki um, and see what's there. So what we're finding now at the moment, at this time of the year, there, there's sort of very two big congregations of, of, of general game. So you've got the congregations around, around the river and, and, and the seasonal swamps that are quite full at the moment. And, and down there we're finding sort of Thompson's gazelles, topi, buffalo, ellies, uh, impala and then right up against the escarpment the ololo escarpment which is where we live on top of um, there's masses of zebra uh, and coax hartebeest and uh, eland and, and it's going to be amazing so as as the season trains as it dries out uh, a lot of those animals are going to move down from the escarpment onto this this, this grass now uh, i know a lot of you have have heard uh, a lot of us go on about um red grass and how good it is for grazing now the amazing thing is that uh, so i was chatting to douglas and i was like oh that the, this what's it red oat grass yeah. red oat grass um is it a thermida is it the same it's like yeah yeah it's thermida triandra so it's the same grass that really high quality oh i gotta go down there's some bumps um that really high quality grazing grass i'll grab some for you now um that we we find in the Sabi sands, but only really in patches, sort of down on sheet plains. But literally here is a sea of, of, of the Mida Triandra. So let me just grab a, a piece for you now. There we go. Now, it is possibly probably one of the most dominant grass species that, that, that we're seeing in the Masai Mara. And of course, um, I'm only talking about it because it's probably the only grass species I know. I've got to learn all my grass still. Um, but there we go. Uh, Thamida triandra, uh, Natal red grass in South Africa, but uh, called uh, red oat grass here in, in, in Kenya. And it is a very important thing. And, it's, and the amount of it that's here is, is why we have this absolutely incredible amount of wildlife. And you know what? It tastes good as well. Okay. I'm going to chew my thermida while we head towards the Samaki Swamp. I just can't help myself. I, I, I'm just absolutely blown away by, by the vistas we get here. I mean, look at that. A lone shepherd's tree. And behind the shepherd's tree, and you see the birds flying there, eggs. So if, if we zoom in, it's quite far away. That's the Samaki Swamp, and it, well, about a hundred, a hundred, a hundred and fifty uh, white stalks, uh, and s uh, lots of saddleable stalks, and and oh, what's that? I'm going to get my binoculars. Um, no, there's lots of waterbuck. We're going to have to get closer to the waterbuck because they're different species to the ones we get in the Sabi Sands. Um, we're all quite now, but. It is incredible. So Rick's asking, is the Mara all open? Right, everybody, of course, we're walking. 